Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some fragrance recommendations that make great Mother's Day gifts. These aren't just the top 10 list, these are houses that I find will work very well if you're looking to get a fragrant perfumed gift for the maternal figure in your life. If it's a mother, grandmother, wife, or anybody else that you would like to celebrate on Mother's Day. So I chose a variety of different fragrances from my collection that I thought would be just fantastic as great gifts to, again, celebrate moms or maternal figures. Now, you can find all of these fragrances on So Avant Garde, and I do have a 15% off coupon code. Yes, that is an affiliate code. I will have all of that linked below. No, So Avant Garde did not send me all of these fragrances. I did spend my money on some of these scents, but you can get all of these there. So I just wanted you guys to know that. The first house I'm going to talk about, because this isn't a top 10 list, but the one I think that you will have get the best bang for your buck. There's a variety of different options. And I find these fragrances to be fantastic is Talia Sodi's fragrances. Now, if I have reviews of any of these scents, I'll link them below. And I'm not going to go too much into the individual fragrances, especially if I have reviews because I don't want this video to be crazy long. But what I love about Talia Sodi's fragrances is first, they are so dang affordable. The presentation is beautiful and ooh, I got all of them. And there's something about each of these scents that I find to be really gorgeous. Now, when it comes down to celebrity fragrances, sometimes I feel like the celebrity is removed from the entire experience of creating a fragrance, but I don't find that too much with hers. And she is such a mega star that I find it to be I don't find that she would be the type of person that would want to remove her point of view from perfume. It seems like everything that she touches, it's very much like her point of view, her thoughts, her presence, and what she wants something to be, whether it be fashion, music, or fragrance, she has to have a say in. It's not just she's blindly sniffing random formulas that come her way. I like when celebrities, when they're creating fragrances, seem to have that individual personal touch. If I'm going to be buying a celebrity fragrance, I want that. And I definitely feel that with her fragrances, but they're also so beautiful that they stand out on their own. And they're not crazy expensive either. I think that personally, I like Blooming Opal, but my favorite I still think is Liquid Sun. This one just smells like sunshine. It's bright, it's happy, it's energizing. And since I know Mother's Day is a spring time um, holiday that takes you into summertime, uh, personally, as a recommendation, I think Liquid Sun would be a great fragrance to give, especially if they love fresh, sunshiny, just happy fragrances. Uh, the mother or the maternal figure in your life could wear it throughout spring and summertime. It's something that they could get a lot of use out of right away. But I don't think you could go wrong with any of these fragrances because there's something for everyone and they are very beautiful. And again, the bottles I find to be just so gorgeous and so unique. I love them. They look like they should fit on an old glamorous vanity of like an old Hollywood star. So I definitely recommend checking out Talia Sodi's fragrances. I'm not gonna be going into them too much because again, I don't want this video to be too long, but I do have a video below where I do an overview on all of these scents if you wanna know my particular thoughts on each of these fragrances. I wanted to do more of a splurge worthy from this list that's still not crazy expensive. I love the fragrances from Malik. And I chose two that I really feel would work for if your mother likes, or your maternal, I'm just gonna say your mom because it's Mother's Day, likes more mature fragrances or is looking for something a little bit more youthful and playful. So we have Ni Lang from Lilique. I did review this a long time ago. It is such a good fragrance. This is so sophisticated and gorgeous and super underappreciated. So I think the house of Lilique is just an underappreciated house except for Ankar Noir. I think aside from Ankar Noir and its flankers, the House of Alik is sadly, just so sadly underappreciated, but Ni Lang is so ridiculously beautiful and it has this 
delicious praline note in here that I find to be so spectacular. However, another gorgeous one, and one that gets a little bit more love from the house, is amethyst. Also, any of the flankers of amethyst are great too. So beautiful. If you like berries, if you like black currant, this, this is a must. This smells like the color purple. It's so beautiful. I love how it's berries, but it's not jammy. There is a tartness to this fragrance that just smells so sexy and so beautiful. It's got a muskiness to the base. This is stunning. And again, it is one of the more talked about fragrances from the line of Lalique, but still, in my opinion, vastly underappreciated. So if your mother is more of a mature fragrance lover that might like a little bit of decadence. I love Ni Lang. She likes more fruity floral, something a little bit more flirty, um, but still something very beautiful and gorgeous and elegant. The black currant in here is just gorgeous. It, this fragrance is so gorgeous. I'm going to be reviewing this one very soon, but the House of Lalique is excellent, and these two specifically are my biggest recommendations. Aside from Talia Sodi fragrances, I think one of these would be an excellent, excellent gift as well. To gift your mom the gift of niche, um, imaginary authors. I haven't talked about these guys too much. I love Josh's fragrances. And when I show you these two, uh, you'll see. So I wanted to choose not a whiff of waffle cone because that's the one I've been talking about the most, but rather some old classic kind of cemented fragrances from the house that a lot of people love and adore that smell a little bit more shared. And I think if you're going to be leaning towards niche houses, more of a shared experience would be something really, really nice. Not every mom wants to smell like flowers and fruit and candy. And the, choose, the two that I chose was Yesterday Haze and Slow Explosion. Now, Slow Explosion is probably one of the fragrances, in my opinion, that really cemented imaginary authors as a fantastically uh, well-beloved niche house. This is the one that everyone really talked about. There was something really beautiful about the leather in this fragrance, the apple and the aromatics and the saffron and the rose, it all came together to create something very sensual, very beautiful, very different, but also very wearable. And as you guys can see, this is a very worn fragrance of mine. I absolutely love this scent. So I would recommend this one if your mom likes those kind of more mature leather fragrances. Think like Bottega Veneta and scents like that. It's a little different, but it's still very special. And I also really love uh, Yesterday Haze. This is if you, if she likes a little bit more powdery fragrances, something fig, something slightly lactonic, but still something that smells definitively shared. I love this one too. And this one I like a lot because I find the fig and the iris come together really nice. The fig is green, it's not so fruity. And the tree, the tree bark, the woods in here give it a little bit of a sour wood feel, but it feels very deliberate with the fig, the milkiness. It works gorgeously. And this is another one. I haven't made as big of a dent as Slow Explosion, but this is another very worn scent. I wear imaginary authors a lot. I love these fragrances. And for a niche house with really good quality, I find these fragrances to be really well priced and make really good and unique gifts if you're looking to gift your mom the type of scents that the neighbor's mom isn't going to be getting in her uh, mom Easter basket or under the mom Mother's Day Christmas tree or however you celebrate Mother's Day. Plastic niche brand that I think is worth checking out, especially if they prefer more shared fragrances that focuses more, less on the composition of like an experience of woods and aromatics, but more celebrates a feeling or a note, but does so again in a composition. When I, when I talk about it, you'll see what I mean. So we have obvious. Obvious fragrances, I, I love these. And these are great layering scents too. The three I specifically chose, although any of these would work really well, is I have Un Vigny, I have Un Fleur, Fleur d'Oranger, you guys know I can't say French, 
and un rose. Now rose most definitely I think is a great a note to have, especially since a lot of people like rose. So if you're looking for a nice rose that not everyone's going to wear, this one's excellent. It's sweet, but it's not too jammy. It has a nice clarity to it. It's a gorgeous scent that just smells really, really nice. But uh, Un Vanille is good too. I wanted to include a vanilla. I like their vanilla a lot. The vanilla does smell like a little bit more of a vanilla extract, not so much like a vanilla bean, a vanilla pod, or a vanilla type of frosting. It smells like a less complex sublime vanille from Creed, but for like ridiculously cheaper than Creed sublime vanille. It's missing that brightness from the citrus but it's still very beautiful and very nice and I wanted to include a vanilla. But the one that I think is very extra special is the Fleur de Orange. And I love orange blossom fragrances. Being a native Floridian, living in Florida, it's like a tar pit here. But something that's gorgeous is just orange blossom and neroli and petrograin and orchards and citrus. It's beautiful and it's so gorgeous here but it's not overtly creamy and sweet. There's a lightness and a freshness to this fragrance that I find to be really beautiful and just absolutely spectacular on the skin. So what I like about these fragrances is you can layer them together, you can blend them together, but on their own, they work really well. So if your mom's the type of person that doesn't like to wear fussy fragrances, she's more minimalistic, likes to smell maybe like rose or just like musk or maybe patchouli, Obvious fragrances have some beautiful compositions that aren't too fussy, that smell more minimalistic, but there is a bit of a story in the composition that smells really nice. They're not one dimensional fragrances, but they are minimalistic scents and I really enjoy them. I still think my favorite is Fleur de Orange. I just, I really love this one a lot. Another celebrity fragrance house that I didn't think I was really gonna like as much was actually Christian Seriano's. And just a little tidbit, I used to be an avid, avid Project Runway winner. Tim Gunn was like, Tim Gunn and Alton Brown, and those were my boys. <laughs> I loved watching um, Tim Gunn, he was just amazing. But I remember watching with Christian Seriano and thinking he's a sassy little thing, but he was wicked talented. So when he became a big name, I wasn't surprised. And when his fragrances came out, the first thing is, is I kind of love, hate the bottles. I only own Oula Rouge, but any of the silhouette bottles or any of the silhouette fragrances would be really nice. I, I get the bottles. I think it's supposed to be like his skirts, his like really elaborate clothing. The bottles are nice, but they're okay. Some of them are, some of them fit. Some of them are a little bit too much for me <laughs> saying something, but the fragrances are gorgeous. So Oula Rouge is definitely considered a Baccarat Rouge dupe, and I don't think it's a bad one. And I like this fragrance a lot, but I only have this bottle. So this is representing any of the silhouette fragrances. I think any of them are great. You're looking for a fantastic, a uh, Baccarat Rouge dupe. It's not an exact dupe, but it's pretty close and a lot cheaper. Uh, Oula Rouge is really nice. I do like and it. I just, this one definitely had to be mentioned. Love Me from Toes, Toes, I can never say this. I think this one is just really nice. It's not crazy, again, it doesn't smell like anything new. It doesn't smell like anything groundbreaking. And I don't expect that from some of these designer brands. But what I do want is something that smells nice. And this one just smells really nice. It's very fresh, it's very feminine, it's very light. And there's something about this that I think smells so attractive on the skin. Another fantastic springtime to summertime scent. So if you wanted to gift your mom or the mom in your life or the maternal person in your life a gift of a scent that they can enjoy for the next coming six to eight months, this would be an excellent one. And I also like the name of it too. I think it's cute if you wanna be a little uh, cute and themed for Mother's Day. Love Me is a really nice fragrance. And there's just something about it that's so happy. And I've talked about this before, crowd-pleasing mainstream scents 
a lot of people use that descriptive term as a negative and I don't think it's a negative, but I think it's a great, great way to kind of explain how some fragrances smell. If I sit here and I tell you that this smells like a barnyard fecal, a uh, super salty, um, briny seaweed kelpie aquatic, you're gonna be like, oh, oh no. But if I say this is a fresh, musky, floral, crowd-pleasing, mainstream designer women's fragrance that has a lot of effervescent, nice, soft sweetness to it that smells really, really nice and attractive on the skin, you're gonna be like, oh, hey, yeah, that smells so much, that sounds so much more wearable and a safer gift for my mother who, you know, I'm looking to buy a fragrance and she's really not into fecal oods. And there's something about this that just smells easy and easy and fresh and it's nice it's not bad i actually wear this one a lot more than you think <laughs> this is like my grocery store scent and i do get compliments on it and i do feel very feminine and very nice when i wear it and i wanted to include it because i think it's a great type of scent to wear last and certainly not least i picked three specific fragrances from banana republic's icon collection I definitely had to choose Dark Cherry if your mom's into the more decadent, deep and delicious scents. This is really, really beautiful. And I think one of the fragrances that people really started to get excited for and pay attention to Banana Republic Icon fragrances, I just think this one is really, really nice. Then if you want something a little bit more aromatic and spice, but still really beautiful, I love peony and peppercorn and the newer one, Tuberose Overdose. I always like to recommend a bouquet of flowers for your mom and this one definitely is some beautiful florals in here. I mentioned that I wish this one smelled a little bit riskier, but what makes this fragrance a nice gift for Mother's Day is the fact that it's a little bit safer but still a really beautiful uh, white floral fragrance and again some people like white florals some people don't but I wanted to have a nice one for you guys and I really like this it smells just really beautiful the tuberose in here is excellent so these are my choices from Banana Republic but Midnight Hour would be nice if she likes something a little bit more shared and really enjoys fruit and Velvet Pomegranate, another new one that I think would be an excellent, excellent choice as well. Anyway, guys, these are my picks for Mother's Day gifts. So this is kind of like a little gift guide. These are more houses. So I would say personally, the two houses to really check out if you're looking for a wearable, easy scent. Talia Sodi's fragrances are excellent. I think there's a nice variety. The presentation of the fragrances are really beautiful and they perform pretty well. I do really like her fragrances. Again, Liquid Sun is my favorite. And if you wanted to splurge a little bit and you were going to use this list as recommendations, I would then say go for Lilique's fragrances. Specifically, if she likes more mature fragrances, go for Ne Lang. It does have a touch of kind of sexy praline in there, which makes it a little bit different, a little bit special. But if it's more of a fruity lover, the black currant in amethyst is just delicious and gorgeous and heart and that is such a special fragrance uh, you can't go wrong with amethyst or any of the its flankers they're fantastic fragrances also la ligue le parfum is another excellent fragrance that scent smells it's one of the fragrances that is i think priced correctly but when you smell it on the skin it smells like it's worth a lot more money it's such an exquisite composition it's so beautiful and complex and smells so delicious and mature and sophisticated. I love it. And also, you know, the Banana Republic fragrances are good too. So these are my picks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you are thinking about getting your mom any fragrant gifts for Mother's Day. Are you thinking about getting anything like this? Are you looking at getting niche other designers? Is there anything specially fragrant you're getting? Like sometimes people like to do gift baskets and they like to get the sets that have the body lotion, the shower gel, and then the matching fragrance. What kind of fragrant gifts are you looking at getting your mom? Let me know in the comment section below. And again, next week, I'm gonna have my splurge worthy picks for you guys as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.